Pioneers in Perovskite, a look inside Oxford PV. Born in a research facility in Oxford, England, Oxford PV has made headlines globally with its Perovskite technology, which broke the record for conversion rates for solar cells. Now, the company is planning the commercial rollout. CEO Frank P. Averdong took time to show us the factory headquarters, located in Brandenburg an der Havel. My name is Frank Everdung. I'm the Chief Executive Officer of Oxford PV. We are currently here in Oxford PV's Brandenburg Manufacturing Facility. In this facility, we are operating since 2017 a pilot line. We are currently building up our volume manufacturing line, which will have a target manufacturing capacity of 100 megawatt every year. The company is headquartered in Oxford, UK. We have approximately 50 people working there, mostly scientists. These people focus on developing the technology, on pushing the envelope. This team has now created several world records um, over time. Um, in Germany, in our Brandenburg facility here, we have approximately 80 people. These are mostly engineers and operators. Here, we bring the product to the level that it can be manufactured and to a product quality that is compatible with industry requirements. Let's now look at the tools. Let's first look at the preparation phase in the production sequence, um, which starts with the wafer test. This wafer test then sorts the wafers that we get. After that, those wafers will get into a wet tool which prepares those wafers. Now we go to an intermediate layer that gets put on the wafer. After we have done this, we move to the cleaning tool. Now the fully cleaned wafer comes out of the cleaning tool and it gets into the first thin film deposition step. This big tool here does the first thin film deposition step. It's a very large tool, very high throughput. It has approximately 2,400 wafer throughput an hour. And what it does, it puts a very thin silicon layer on top of the wafer. Let's move on now to the second thin film deposition step, which is being done in this tool here. Now you can see this tool, how it operates. Right? After this step has been finished, we move to metallization. In the print line, uh, we add the metal contacts to the wafer so that the wafer has actually a way that we can take the current out of this wafer. Now the product is nearly finished. The final step is the testing of the product where it gets checked on functionality and performance. And now the product is complete and can be sent out to customers. The technology that we are offering is quite revolutionary because it overcomes the efficiency barriers that crystalline silicon photovoltaic cells will face. Um, the only way to increase the efficiency, and efficiency is just a measure for power output, is to add an additional cell on top of a crystalline a bottom cell. In combination, the output is significantly higher and our first product will have a starting efficiency of 27% on the cell level. Efficiency is a very important element in the renewable transition because the more power you can generate from a cell, the more power you can generate from a roof, right? the more power you can uh, generate on any installation. So therefore we believe that our technology can have a disruptive uh, influence on the photovoltaic industry 